As soon as you realize a desire, it's as if you have launched a message and the universe sends one back. The only job you have to do is to let it in, or be in harmony with the vibrational alignment with your desire. At first there is a break between you and the thing you desire. You feel it into existence by achieving the energetic equivalent with that which you want. This is accomplished by understanding that feeling place. That's how you achieve vibrational harmony with your want. Law of attraction relationships are supremely rewarding and fulfilling beyond your most wonderful fantasies. Create the story of the thing you envision as if it already exists, rather than your life experience right now. This is what Neville Goddard says, make your future goal a current truth. Keep your alignment practice to yourself unless you have full support of friends or family. They won't understand and may inhibit your creative process. Feel expectant and eager throughout your day. We're told by Abraham Hicks that anything you put your attention on for as little as 17 seconds you pull it into your intention. Your vibrational influence begins to gain immense momentum. Feeling well is self-evident of your harmony with what you want. Relationship attraction has never been more powerful with the discovery of the law of attraction. Naturally, when you desire something, you've got to first notice it is not present. There's an ingrained tendency to feel pain when we don't have what we desire. Negative emotion shows us the difference to or the opposite of what is desired. Negative feelings then become simple information. Our inner being is allowing us negative emotion as an indicator that we're not lined up with who we truly are, an extension of source energy, and in the driver's seat of creating our lives. Negative emotion shows us we're holding a belief that we're powerless to manifest our own desires. On this journey of self-discovery let us discover us. Let us put the judgment aside where we fire negative emotions. We know the tools in this world will not do us any good unless we are able to listen. We have learned now to deal with negative emotion. Find alignment. Search for reasons to love, reasons to smile, and compliment. Happiness is the only thing that we all seek in our life back again and in return. To feel love and being grateful. Now it is time to move out of negative emotions and shift your world to one of loving kindness. When you do watch what shifts. As your soul coach and mentor, I am here to simply help you to know and understand yourself and others better and assist with deep transformation healing to help you get connecting with your divine core center.